We're going to talk about stationary random processes. Stationarity is, a, is another technical mathematical condition. Um, the reason why I'm showing you these, I, the reason why I need to talk about autocorrelation and stationarity is that they have some, some fairly important applications later, which are unfortunately not easy to see right now. Uh, a stationary random process is, so a random process X is stationary if its statistics do not change with time. So let's be clear that a, a stationary random process not constant with respect to time. So a stationary random process means the statistical behavior is constant. It doesn't mean that the random process is itself constant. So in other words, um, it doesn't mean that x of t is some constant. What it does mean is that, for instance, the mean of x is constant, and the variance of x is constant for all t. But it doesn't mean that the random process itself is constant. Technical definition of a stationary random process So remember we can write uh, joint
Instead, we will deal with a relaxed condition called wide sense stationary. Uh, it's, it's probably worth taking a second to talk about why we need stationary. Um, where we're going with this is um, we want to be able to express uh, <coughs> we want to be able to express correlations in the frequency domain. Um, a lot of finally where we're going is we're going to prove the form of the optimal detector. In order to do so, we need to make some arguments in the Fourier transform domain. Um, we need to know uh, we need to we need to know what the probability density is. Or excuse me. We need to know what the uh, what the Fourier transform of of, uh, of Gaussian noise looks like. We need to know what happens when you pass um, when you pass Gaussian noise uh, or Gaussian random process through a linear filter. So a linear filter will have a Fourier transform. So therefore, that'll have an impact on the Fourier transform. Of the, of, the, of the noise process. Um, all of this boils down to uh, a theorem called the Wiener-Kinschrank theorem. And the Wiener-Kinschrank theorem basically tells you everything you need to know about what happens to random processes when you pass them through linear filters. And it turns out that the Wiener-Kinschrank theorem requires this property, the white sense stationary. So that's where we're going here. Um, why is this property important? Well, basically what it means is that your random process isn't going crazy. If you look at it, it's just sort of always has roughly the same mean and roughly the same variance. I'll explain what I mean by this in a second. But what it doesn't mean, if a, a process that isn't stationary, perhaps its variance varies with time. So it'll have a huge variance here and a very little one here. And a huge variance over here, and then a little over here. Or maybe its mean is going crazy. So it's this mean up here, and then suddenly the mean drops down here, things like this. So stationarity basically means that uh, you, can, you can think of it in terms of it, it always has the same mean and variance. Uh, really, it doesn't mean anything more complicated than that. And the same correlation structure. So, in other words, whenever you look at the process, it's always sort of behaving the same way. And that's really what you need in order to say anything rational about. Um, in order to say anything rational uh, about the, the, uh, the uh, Fourier transform of that random process. So wide sense stationarity, what does that mean? Basically it means, firstly, that the mean is not a function of time. It is some constant all time. And secondly, and this is why I spent a second uh, when I was talking about uh, autocorrelation, why I spent some time talking about this, it, it means that the autocorrelation, you only need to talk about it in terms of the difference. So it can be expressed as Rx and tau. Thank you. 